First up, let's talk about J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar. Now, these two have been at the center of what some are calling the rap war of 2024. But here's where it gets interesting, J. Cole. Recently made a move that has everyone talking. He actually apologized to Kendrick Lamar. In a world where beefs can escalate faster than you can say hip-hop, J. Cole chose to step back, apologize, and in his own words, turn the other cheek. Check this out. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel. That shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and, and in that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. And I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep. I gotta say, I have a ton of respect for what J. Cole did there. It's not easy to step down and make peace, especially with the world watching. But as expected, this move has divided opinions. On one side, we've got TDE's punch tipping his hat to Cole, saying Cole is a very genuine guy. I respect it. We often give in to external pressures and outside influences and act out of our own character. It's rare to have enough heart to make the correction. It didn't align with him. So he fixed it in the same manner he engaged Salute P.S. I knew the Paper Butterfly was a good album. Can't argue with that, it's a classic. Then there's Styles P, who chimed in with some wisdom of his own. He responded by saying, My hypothesis is this is something that he never wanted to do, but the nature of the game and what the people say can dictate our movement. Throwing jabs eventually leads to throwing power shots at some point. And that ain't his thing or something he wants to do with his fan. So he chose to bow out gracefully, never knock a man for bowing out gracefully, or choosing to protect his spirit. Whether you agree or not, that's a courage to do. I respect the high vibrations of all of it. I did want to see a lyrical war, though, because I'm a petty MC. I salute the young king for being himself. However, not everyone's throwing applause Cole's way. 50 Cent with his classic reaction. What the F, how I miss this. J. Cole, call my phone right now. You've got to love 50 Cent for always being ready to stir the pot. He's got this knack for getting involved, whether it's for the drama, the laughs, or maybe just because he feels a connection to Cole, given Cole's Queen's connection. So what do you think about J. Cole's apology and the reactions it sparked? Was it a move of genuine integrity or do you think it's something else? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next video.